Okay, one more thing here. We're going to start rounding up the head a little bit in the bill. Uh, we'll worry about the feet a little bit later. What we want to do, as you see, I have a rounded portion here. We're going to just round this up a little bit towards the uh, center. Just like so. Okay. Some of that's got to come off, so we're going to go down here. We're going to tap some of this out. Let's see. See, there's a little bit. If I put my knife there, I see there's a little bit too much on this side. So we're just going to chop a little piece of that out. All right. Now, we're going to go a little further on both sides of this. I thought I better get this done because I don't want to snap the feet off. That's going to be the real intricate part is finishing up the, the feet and stuff. So. All right, now on a duck, they usually have a little lip like this, a little V at the top. Let me bring this up. And this is going to be odd because, folks, <laughs> that bill is turning upward, and it's kind of a comical look to it. So we're going to just go ahead and put the V here, kind of an over-exaggerated V. And we're going to bring this out a little bit like this. Okay, just like so. See it? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife. We're going to push in one side and do the other side. And we're going to hopefully just slice that out. Just like so. Okay? And then we're going to take the side bill and bring this in a little bit. And I'm going to cut that in. And I'm going to chop that out. Okay? So it should be a little little upside down W there. Okay? And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to bring this over. Push that in. And we're going to just slice that out. I'll try to keep this in the camera for you folks. Sometimes I get into my work, I forget about the camera being there. So, okay. So, see that little W? We're going to make that a little more distinct after a little bit, but what we need to do is really thin this down a little bit. So, we're just going to bring this down a little bit more. Okay. And bring this side down a little bit. That's way too wide. So what you're going to end up doing, folks, is you're going to keep flipping it back and forth. You know, until you until you see it come to life. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to round this up a little bit more towards that center, just like so. And same thing with this side. I'm just going to go to that center. All right. And then we have it. I'm not happy with the way that looks yet. So um, I'm going to go a little bit thinner. Gonna try to get this. Let me, let me make sure this is all the same size. This is how you can measure. See how far over I am? That's not good. So we actually want it to go there. So we really need to take off about that right there. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. I figured the side was a little different, and I couldn't figure out. Sometimes until you measure things, you can't see it. You know it's something's not quite right, but um, sometimes you just keep going with it, thinking it's going to work itself out. It usually does. All right. We get that down to where that level is, just a little bit more. Then we'll be ready to. Then we'll put the, we'll make the head a little bit more, uh, how can I say this, more evened out like the eyes and the cheeks and stuff. 
you know, doing doing one side is not bad. It's trying to make the two match makes it the difficult part in carving. You know, and I was like, trying to explain that to somebody at the show. You know, it's not doing one eye. It's trying to make another eye match. You know, and you'll find that's true in carving. You do two arms or you do two legs. You know, it's kind of hard to get things to look even and uh, all that good stuff so I keep measuring as you can see I keep measuring that looks about right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round off the very top of this let me sharpen up my knife because it needs to be really sharpened I'm going to use a very thin pocket knife here to do this Alright, I have a real thin knife as you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, round this out very carefully. See how small little chips I'm taking? I want to go to the center, but I want to work my way down to the side. Alright, just like so. And you know what? It wouldn't hurt to just wet it just a tad, just to make it a little easier so it doesn't tear. Even when you d use this method, folks, your, your knife needs to be sharp, really sharp. Not just partly sharp, really sharp. But remember, when you spray that stuff, you're going to end up sometimes, if you want to put lines in, like a stop cut, you're not going to be able to see it because it will swell. Okay, see how I have that rounded out? See that? That's how. And that's exactly what we wanted done. It's just to round it out. And we're going to make that a little more distinct because that's kind of the character portion of it. Caricature portion of it. You know, the comical. All right. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to take it we're going to slice. And see how I'm using that slicing motion? That's. And you just want to take your time and you want to do the whole thing that way. Let's see if I can do it from this way. It might be a little bit easier just pushing with this thumb. See how the control I have with that thumb? That's what you use your thumb for this thumb for a lot of control when you cut this up. So, okay. All right. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, the top of that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I haven't quite figured that one out yet, but we need to just be very, very careful cleaning this up at the top here. All right. Uh, I'm not going to do too much more with that until we get the, the face in a little bit better. And we're going to trim this out a little bit further, you know, and all towards the bill. Yeah, just thin them up a little bit and round them up. He's still a little bit square, so this is a good time to start working on that area. And the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start cleaning up the bottom portion and take very small little cuts here. Um, at the bottom because we want to clean that up. We don't want those bandsaw lines showing. Okay folks, man, I'm way over time. Okay, thank you folks and I'll, uh, I'll be back in a few. Bye-bye.